Hey guys, it's Veteran. What's going on? Bringing you a gameplay of the Golden AUG or Golden AUG or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a little bit of a campy gameplay, but I don't really care. Um, it was just a decent score of the AUG, so I thought I'd put it up. Um, today's topic of discussion is going to be about the first day of E3 and probably the only thing I'll get to talk about in E3. Actually, no, I'll get to talk about E3 in my next video, but that won't be until at least Saturday, the earliest, because I'm uh, going on a business conference thingy, I guess if you want to call it that, a work conference, so um, I'm leaving today at 4, um, my computer takes forever to render, so this video won't be done until like 1 at rendering, and probably won't be put up until like 2, and I'm leaving today at 4, so I probably won't have time to put one up. I can try, it depends on if I'm taking my computer with me or not, if I'm not taking my computer with me. I might be able to sit here and I'll let it do it on its own, but other than that, um, this will be it for me until Saturday. Also, look at my emblem. Um, the next time I get a kill or I do something, my emblem comes up. Um, it's supposed to show uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, but it's like three different shades of yellow and green, I guess. Yeah, watch this right, right there. It's awful. Anyway, so yesterday was the uh, first day of E3 with the uh, media briefing um, from Sony, Microsoft, EA, and uh, Ubisoft, I believe. And um, there was some big stuff there, but a lot of... Uh, I, I don't know, I kind of felt underwhelmed, I guess I was expecting more, I guess maybe because of last year's stuff, but uh, the first thing um, I noticed was that Microsoft has very little exclusives, and all they did was talk about Kinect, like connect this, connect that, like, M Microsoft is going after Nintendo's audience, and um, so yeah, a lot of their stuff isn't hardcore anymore, I guess you could say, um, they pretty much have Forza, Gears, uh, a new Fable, which is looks like it's surrounded by um, uh, Kinect stuff, and then now they're re Halo. Like everyone thought it was like you know maybe not the last Halo, there would be some sort of spin-off, but now they just reintroduced um, an entire new Halo trilogy, starting with Halo 4, made by like 343 Industries or whatever. Like Bungie's out, Bungie's done with Halo. So yeah, um, Microsoft is back to whoring uh, good old Halo, which is good. Um, so that's all I really saw from Microsoft that kind of impressed me, except um, Ubisoft had their, uh, if you watched it, um, the Ghost Recon game they did with uh, Kinect, um, the gun uh, modifier, I guess, I can't remember what it was, you can like uh, customize guns to like everything from like the insides, and using it with Kinect was like absolutely sick. So um, that'd be pretty cool. But um, so then I didn't really watch EA, I watched a little bit of EA, um, I saw their... Uh, they reintroduced SSX, um, which is a snowboarding game, and uh, Battlefield 3 looked uh, it's pretty sick. Uh, the in-game graphics are amazing. The, the one tank level they did was absolutely nuts, and um, the multiplayer trailer looks pretty sweet too. So yeah, Battlefield 3 is definitely something I'm gonna pick up. But I didn't really pay attention to the EA one. I didn't really, I didn't watch Ubisoft, so I have no idea what happened there. And then I got back late to watch some of Sony's. Because I was out at dinner with my girlfriend, and then, uh, yeah, so I didn't really have too much time to pay attention to it while I was out. But, um, yeah, obviously there's the new stuff, and, uh, like, uh, I guess Resistance 3, Uncharted 3. I didn't see anything in Resistance. I've already seen stuff about Uncharted. Um, but, yeah, the, um, the PS Vita, or whatever that thing is, is only $250, which is actually clutch for them, because the DS is, um, 300. I believe it comes with... 3G. I don't. I can't remember. But the 3DS is like a child's toy, which can make you really sick because that thing is. I don't know. That thing just messes with my eyes whenever I've played it. So there's a 3DS or the PS Vita for the same price. Um, you can get a 3G PS Vita for $300. So I would definitely. I think I'm gonna pick one of those up. It looks like it's gonna be sick, depending on if the multiplayer games are actually legit. Because there's Wi-Fi around me. I live on a Wi-Fi campus. There will be Wi-Fi everywhere. I'd definitely pick one of those up if they have good multiplayer games. And then, um, that one new game, um, oh, I can't remember what it is, it's some shooter, Deuce 514, or whatever it is, um, it's, a. Uh, it looks pretty cool, um, there's supposed to be, like, some MGP compatibility, whatever, it, um, and this guy had a sweet grant, so that's why I'm dead for so long here, and, uh, yeah, they didn't, I guess they really didn't announce much else, I was waiting for something on, like, Final Fantasy Versus 13, or, you know, like, the next God of War, hoping for, like, Kingdom Hearts, but, um, I guess Sony was just going with their exclusives they've been relying on, and there's going to be a new Sly Cooper and whatever. So, um, yeah, there wasn't, I wasn't wowed by too much. I guess we'll get to see what Nintendo's offering is today, and, um, it's just going to be their new console, and it's probably not going to be that enticing to anyone, a uh, real gamer like myself, so whatever. 
But um, yeah, that's what that was E3 so far. But anyways, just so you guys know, I'll be gone until at least Saturday, I believe, maybe Sunday. Um, hopefully I can get up another gameplay by then. Probably not. But uh, anyways, uh, I think the score is like 31 and three. Anyways, let me know, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Don't leave me. I'll be back. Peace.